the memories the banshee was iconic let's go 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 oh my god I love this game Armed robber guilty by unanimous verdict. Ah, the tough guy was betrayed by his girlfriend. <laughs> Yesterday I learned another hard lesson. <laughs> this was mind blowing back in. Was it? Well, I got it when I was 13, so I was playing this in 2003. This was mind blowing. Convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. Wait, did I get it when I was 13? The convoy left police headquarters early this morning. When did the, when did GTA did GTA 3 come out in 2001? The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge. When did Vice City come out? And the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours 2002. afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by okay, computer I was early. This, on police headquarters. Okay, so I wasn't 13 when I was playing this. I was at least 12. <laughs> this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Because I, I, I remember I had GTA 3 before Vice City came out and I was excited for Vice City coming out and I got it day one. I didn't get GTA 3 day one. Your parents let you play this. My mum bought me it. It was in a double pack with Grand Theft Auto the movie. <laughs> I remember that. It must have been, I must have been 12, 2002. Maybe I was, maybe it was, maybe I was 11, maybe it was 2001. Either way, it was a long time ago. We're talking over 20 years ago that I was playing this game for the first time. I'm so looking forward to going back through these games again. GTA 1 and GTA 2, it was fun to like see where it all started, but I couldn't get through them. <laughs> I remember that sales bundle. Yeah. Here come the iconic words from 8-Ball. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. And away we go. GTA 3. I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> I think I think this is... I, I, I always liked the touch where the... Um, that the police were going back up on the bridge as you came down. Oops. But yeah, what we're gonna do, um, like for the first sort of half an hour of each of these playthroughs, because the music is such an important part, I'm gonna leave the radio on. And if it gets like, you know, the, the video on YouTube, it's, it's, if it says that, you know, they're gonna take the money for it or whatever, I'm not gonna be too fussed the first, the first, for the first like half an hour of the, the playthrough. And then I'll turn it off. Um, this is the place right and we'll play the rest of the game the without the radio. But I at least want to have the radio on for a short amount of time at the start of each playthrough, just to give us a bit of a, you know, a, a bit of a feel, because the music is such a, a good part of the game. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back, so I can probably get some work. Come on, let's get over. Alright, let's go see Luigi. And it's just around the corner, so that's alright. Oh. It is essential. It, yeah, it's essential for the atmosphere, the music, when it comes to setting the scene of the game, I think. After the first half an hour, we can turn it off and, you know, it won't be quite the same, but at least we'll have had the the feel of the vibe of, you know, having the music for at least Wait a here, little man, bit. While I go in and talk to Luigi.
say hello to Eight Ball, lady. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Let's go pick up Misty. <laughs> can take the Karuma still. Let's go pick up Misty. Yeah, um, Flash FM was always the, the radio station that I used to listen to back in the day. That was my jam. Chatterbox as well though, Chatterbox was hilarious. Go on Misty, in you get. Hi, I'm Misty. Back to the club. Ah, oh, man, the memories. The memories, the amount of time I spent on this game. Success! We passed the first mission! <laughs> Go to Luigi for more work or check out Liberty City. Tell you what I'll do. Send some extra cash, why not borrow a taxi? God, you could do all the taxi missions, the police missions. There was all sorts that you could do. No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually. Whilst we're let's 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 do something that's incredibly important. That's it, mission pass stream finished. I used to love the the um the the advertisements on the radio as well. They were always hilarious. Yeah, the cop missions, the ambulance missions, the taxi missions, they were always good fun as well. It was all the side stuff that make you feel like you were <gasps> It's not there! No way! Okay. Hey, good boy. I think that's a lesson to us. Well, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna go get the banshee, but I'll go get it later. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Yes, yes, I do like it. There's one thing that I When I was a boy, I had a nanny. She was very. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well, I'm sure. I have the, um... I have Flashback and Chatterbox, the radio, on my, uh... Oh, like, in my, in my music, um, collection, <laughs> alongside all the Vice City radio stations. Uh, no, I don't think we need the controller overlay for this. Plus it would... Well, I could probably put it below me, but I don't feel like it's necessary. I mean, you guys tell me if you think it's necessary, but... I always used to like looking into his little apartment in with a sniper rifle when I was younger, just to see all the little details. Okay. So, yeah, to get to bring people up to date, um, I decided against playing on the, uh, the PS2 itself, but I am playing the PS2 version via um, the PS5. So they released the PS2 versions of these games on uh, PS4, but then when they released the definitive editions, which I am not touching with a 10-foot barge pole, um, they, they delisted them, so you couldn't play them anymore. Uh, you couldn't buy them at least. You can still play them if you own them. So I had Vice City which helped me get through the 24 hour stream But I didn't have GTA 3 or San Andreas uh, So Spear lent me his, uh, his his Well, he he, he he basically made it so that I could play them on my my PS5 So and I think it is it does look better Than than what we would have got if we played it on the PS2 Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. 
go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. I remember watching a documentary about um I gotta go on vacation. There's the bat. Um watching a documentary about it. Uh GTA. Wait, what is that for me? What is cycling weapons for me? Okay, L1 and okay. L1 and R1. <laughs> so also to catch people up, I've changed my uh, controller uh, button assignments via the PS5 so that um, R2 and L2 are accelerate and brake and just a few other things like the handbrake is X which is what I'm used to for GTA 5 so yeah it's 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 more what I'm used to but But yeah, the, the, it doesn't match up with what it tells me in the game, obviously. I didn't really need to to, to wreck the, uh, the 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 prostitute who was with him. To be fair, that was that was a bit extreme. Uh, something that's uh, catching me out is that I always used to use um, the handbrake back in the day. He dropped a lot of money. Look at all this. Uh, I always used to use the handbrake back in the day to 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 turn. <laughs> so I'm used to using the regular brake from my years of playing GTA and not being as young as I was back then. But I don't know. It always feels like the handbrake is just better. <laughs> Gentleman never hits another man, so okay. <laughs> Smash the car, Luigi's locker, fuck it. The main problem with GTA 3 is that you couldn't look around with the right analog stick. Uh, but yeah, my first GTA game that I streamed was GTA 5, obviously. But pretty far from the first GTA game I ever played. Success! So, I didn't know this. Well, I, I don't think I knew it. But you can press a button to look like to reset your camera forward. So if I'm looking back, I can just press a button. I probably knew this when I was 12 years old playing the game, but yeah, it was only as I was like looking through the button assignments to change things around for the PS5 and trying to figure out what else would change and, and like try to anticipate what I would need to like figure, like whether changing the button assignments by putting the accelerator on R2, whether that would change something else that would be a problem, but yeah, I, I only found that out when I was looking at that sort of stuff. It's going to be very helpful when you can't actually move the camera around. I want a combo. What am I going to do? Wait. Hey, I got to talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How do I make a countdown? How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage and threaten and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. That's what I was going to say earlier. I remember watching a documentary about GTA 3 and they said that they, um, they designed all the missions and things first. And the story sort of all came together afterwards and they just had to... Um, had to, had to like... They, they figured out a story that would fit and then put the missions in with that rather than the other way around where they, you know, did the story first as they would do now. 
How old were you when GTA 4 came out? Uh, 18, I think. It was 2008, right? Sykes Zany with your 14 months. Is this the start of the playthroughs to coincide with GTA 6? Sorry for being asked a thousand times. It is. Where are we going? Okay, joints. Um, yes, this is... I mean, I've already done GTA 1, 2 and London expansions. Um, but this is going to be... This is, this is the start of the games that I've played already in the past. Hoping to play through all the GTA games before GTA 6. I'm going to be hitting them all. Isn't it Joey who works on the, the um, BF injection? There it is. I see it in the background. Yeah, the stories Joey! as well. Am I gonna get to play with your big hands again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? That was a recognizable voice. So I can go see Joey but I always used to like to finish the missions from one person first before starting them from another person so we'll go back to Luigi. My see this is the thing especially for Vice City they had some incredible actors like Vice City was in that perfect time before the, the actors probably wanted to be paid the big bucks for it but like it was amazing the kind of the actors that they got back then it's no surprise that the GTA games became so popular. They really did have everything. Pump action pimp. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amner Nation opposite the subway. Alrighty. Um, thank you, Sarge, for the 74 months with the thumbs up emote. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying. I am enjoying. I'm, I'm, I'm already having a great time. And we've only just started. <laughs> and we've got so many games to go through. Uh, Konai with the gift sub as well to Extra Happy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the gift of extra happy and joy. I hope you're extra happy with that gift sub. I might as well go get the uh, the weapons. The the thing is, I back in GTA, well, back in this era in general, I'm pretty sure I always used to use cheats. Uh, how do I how do I target? Uh, because R1 is not target for me. Let me look. Uh, target is X. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a little tricky, doing X and then circle to shoot. And then I can switch targets with L1 and R1. Again, I'm just working out what my button assignments allow me to do. <laughs> okay. So I do have them written down but I'm going to have to remember this. So X is to lock on, R1, L1 to move, and then circle to shoot. Okay. And then I use R2 to run. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wanted to play the original PS2 versions, obviously. Like, that was the reason that I got the PS2 versions out to check my old save files, but I think playing them on... PS5 is the better idea. It does look nicer. But I'm still playing the original PS2 versions rather than, you know, PC or Definitive Edition or whatever. Oh, so I can't actually... Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I've got one health left. I've got... 
I've got one health. I survived that just because I had one. <laughs> the pistol is now available. Uh, the, the <laughs> and then the Diablo Stallion didn't. Wow, okay. Okay, I got lucky there. The controls are going to take a little bit of getting used to, but at least I can take this Diablo Stallion and put it in my garage. I should probably save. Um, yeah, it does look better on the PS5 via the whole, you know, PS4 version. They definitely upscaled it to make it look nicer. Wait, I can't store it? Oh, I wonder if it's because it was a mission card. If I died, I would have had to do everything again, right? Well, I would have had to start the mission again, I think. Uh, and I would have... Don't you lose all your weapons and stuff when you... Oh, I've still got one health. I thought you got your health back, but obviously not. Okay, I do actually need to go to the hospital. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is... I think the health back bit only starts with Vice. Yeah, there's a lot of things in GTA 3 that like they improved on a lot for Vice City, but I'm gonna have to really get used to the the controls because I'm not gonna be. You know, you can't look around with the analog stick, and I'm gonna have to get used to being able to target and then shoot and then target while running, and there's no cover or anything like that. So the and like I say, I always used to use cheats back in the day, just because it was just for the fun of playing. I didn't really care. So I'm going to have to actually get good. <laughs> like literally get good. I, can't, I got so lucky to pass that mission. The policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking. Oh, I remember this Get mission. To the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. Drive slower! I don't know whether I should actually take it. Less than four girls, okay. Going to be a happy marriage. Can I get multiple girls in the taxi? That's the question. I can only take one at a time. Yeah, I've got five minutes. Oh my god. We talk about crazy traffic in GTA 5. Played this game before, right? Oh yeah, many times. A long time now, though, between the last time I played it now, but yeah, many, many times. Yeah, getting a taxi was a good idea. Still only got one HP. <laughs> better to use the hand print. Right, there's three. Flashback FM was so good. We'll turn the music off very shortly because it's probably been about half an hour nearly. But like the music was part of how what made these games amazing. What an absolute masterstroke. I think it was in the early GTAs to put radio when you got in. Oh. 
Wrong way. It's five. Okay, so we're good. I've passed the mission at least. You could hire one of these nice ladies to get your health back too. That is also an option. <laughs> Two minutes left of the mission. I mean, I'll see if I can get the last three. Ah, oh, she's up there. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. That was risky. <laughs> I'm, I'm against the clock. This taxi doesn't have much life left in it. The cars didn't last very long back in the day. Come on, taxi. You can make it. It would be good to get all of them. Risky moves in old GTA is very brave, I know. Uh oh, oh, that was close. Alright, 55 seconds. Oh, we can do this. Nice and easy. Success! Beautiful. We did it. <laughs> it's probably only going to go downhill as the missions get harder and my skill does not improve. <laughs> Panchi was there when you passed it. Okay, I'll go back and get the Panchi. Yeah, we're raking it in now. I'm not planning to do sort of taxi missions or, or ambulance missions or really go for like... 100% or anything like that in these playthroughs. The main purpose is to just play through the story, play through the games. I don't want to linger too long. That's not to say I might not revisit them at some point <laughs> and, and go for 100%, but not as part of like the regular playthroughs. Why is it not there anymore? Oh, it's gone again. Damn, I can't get this Banshee. I always remember that the, um, the, uh, the green banshee was always the most rare. Like, there was usually a red, this taxi is not going to last much longer. There was always usually a red or a blue banshee, um, but very rarely a green one. And that's why I, I always kept the green one. And I think when I look back to my save files in that video, it's a green banshee in that garage next to the Infernus. That was one of my favourite cars. Um, and that's also why my GTA 5 banshee is also coloured green. It's modelled after the GTA 3 green banshee. Remember the phone missions? I should probably get health. Yep, I've been drinking again. Hey! Oops. Oh my god! Yeah, X is not run anymore. <laughs> my damn tool. Marty Chunks. Alright. Where is the hospital? <laughs> 
Oh, there isn't even a map, is there? There's no overhead map. Like, there wasn't a GPS in most of these games, but there isn't even an overhead map in GTA 3. Okay. I think I remember how to get there. I definitely need a hospital trip before I do this. Well, before I do anything else. It's up here, isn't it? It's amazing what you can remember. There we go. Back to a hundred. Alright, before we start uh, Joy's missions, I'll... Oh, fog. I'll, I'll turn off the radio, so this will be our last bit of radio. And I'll probably... This will be the first, like, video on the playthrough channel. First, the first half an hour. I think I'll do that for all the games. Just do, like, half an hour little introductory playthrough video first to introduce the game and... And, and let us in, enjoy the music and then we'll get into sort of the full playthrough in longer videos and stuff after that. Chin dog food factory. He's not gonna have a good time. Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have. Get your hands off me, I made a pick. dollar. Take the car to the crusher to get rid of the evidence. Get out of the car in the crane or pick it up. Okie dokie. Oh, there was, <laughs> there, was a, there was a health thing right there. It does feel right with R2 and L2 being accelerator and brake. It just, it just makes sense. Although it doesn't take too much to get used to using X and Square. Like you know, it was, I just, I, know, I felt like it was the better decision to to change it up and go with what I'm used to. So I'm not having to like relearn the controls every time I come back and start playing through the game again. Cause Yeah, you can just bring any vehicle here, can't you? <laughs> Don't worry about it clipping through the roof. That didn't happen. <laughs> Success! All right, I'll turn the music off and we'll uh, we'll then go and start Joey's missions.